Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have this new fun caterpillar hoodie up on my Etsy store. I'll link it below if you guys are interested. But yeah, like always, I give you guys the printing settings, a picture guide how to tape and assemble the pattern, and of course the size chart. Now let's go on to the pattern file. Like always, we're going to do the test square, you know, just to double check that we printed it out correctly. And if it measures the 2x2 two two inches, then we're good to go and we can start taping. And if we go back to the pattern instructions, I, get, I tell you guys to overlap and match on the dots from A1 all the way to A5. And then we're going to go down to B1 all the way to B5. Again, we're going to be overlapping and matching on the gray dots. and now we're going to start with the front of the hoodie so we have front a you need to cut one on the fold and then you have front b you need to cut one on the fold as well okay also if you notice another thing from the front b piece is that it has gathering stitches so we're going to gather at the top and bottom only for front b Once we gathered, we're going to place right sides together, the front A and front B, and we're going to be doing a half an inch seam allowance. And here's the front of our hoodie so far I also want to hit and search you know so we have a nicer edge but yeah now let's move on to the front C again we're going to repeat the same steps as front B where we gathered the top and bottom now we're ready to connect front C with front B and we're gonna place them right sides together and do a half an inch seam allowance And this is how the front of the hoodie should look like. Now let's put this to the side for a moment and let's go on to the back of the hoodie. We're going to repeat the same steps that we did for the front with connecting an order from A, B, and C. And of course doing the gathering stitches on B and C when connecting them. And here's the back of the hoodie. This is what it should look like. Again, let's put this to the side because now we're gonna work on the last piece that go for both the back and the front. We have part D, we're gonna cut one and fold for each. And for this one, as you can see, it also has a gather and stitch, but only on the top. So we're going to gather on the top and then for the bottom, we're going, going to be doing a one fourth hem. Now we're ready to connect part D with the front and back. So I'm going to quickly grab the front and we're going to be pinning right sides together, sewing a half an inch seam allowance. And again, we're going to do this for both the front and the back. Now that we have both the back and front fully completed, we're going to pin them right sides together, connecting them on the shoulder and side seams. Again, we're going to be sewing half an inch seam allowance. The last thing we're going to do is finish the armholes by either creating a one fourth hem or you're also welcome to use bias tape for a nicer finish if you would like that. Again, it's optional. 
Okay, so now let's get started with the eyes and ears. You need to cut two outer felt for the inner and then two outer felt for the outer eyes. And then for the ears, you need to cut four out of fabric and then two out of batting or foam, whatever you want, like to use to give the ear structure. I also recommend adding wire later on. But anyways, let's first assemble the ears by placing the inner piece on top of the outer and sewing that together. Once that is done, let's move on to the ears and we're going to be placing them right sides together and adding the padding at the bottom. We're going to be doing a one fourth seam allowance all around the ears. Now we're going to quickly clip and trim the ears on the curved area before we flip it to the correct side. Okay, so now we're ready to start on the hood. We actually have two pieces, the hood and the hood piano. And both of them, we're gonna place them right sides together and sew on top, half an inch seam allowance. Let's grab our ears and now we're going to place them first on the hood panel. We're going to place them about an inch to two inches away from the center seam. You can sew the ears in place, but I'm going to quickly just pin them in place and then connect the hood panel onto the hood for a side together. I'm going to show you guys right now and we're going to be sewing a half an inch seam allowance. And here's a completed hood. I even searched the inside just to make it nice and pretty. And the next thing we're going to do is pin and sew the eyes on the sides of the hood panel. I also went ahead and finished the hood by doing a one fourth hem. And now that our hood is completed, we're ready to connect everything together. So I have the hood. I have the bodice of the hoodie and the first thing I'm going to do is find the center front and back mark it. That way I can start pinning the hood around the neckline. I'm going to start by pinning the back and then I'm going to pin the front and then I'll pin the sides. And we're going to be doing a half an inch seam allowance all around the neckline. The last thing I did was search the neckline, you know, that way we have a nice finish. And yeah, we're pretty much done. Here's our little caterpillar hoodie. I thought it came out so adorable. Again, I'll link my Etsy store down below in case you guys want to check out the pattern. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for coming along. If you guys have any questions, message me on Etsy or leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.